Hello again. Welcome back to New Zealand for a few minutes with more data mining with Weka. Let's look at the command line interface in this lesson. Now the command line is, interface isn't for everyone, but it's worth knowing about, just in case you might need to do some more advanced things. So uh, we're going to run a classifier from within the command line interface. I'm going to run J48 on the iris data. The first thing I'm going to do is to print the J48 options. So let's fire up the simple command line interface. And uh, I'm going to type Java. Everything is going to begin with Java in this. This is the one line we type into here. And I'm going to type Java weka.classifiers.trees.j48. I'll explain the name in a moment. And I'm going to hit enter. And here I've got printed out a bunch of information. Actually, this is error information. It says Weka exception, no training file and no object input file is given. And so because it can't interpret this command, Weka has kindly printed out the options for J48. Well, first of all, the general options, minus H for help, minus little t for a training file, minus capital T for test file. We'll be using those. And then a bit further down, after the general options, we've got the options specific to J48. There's the uh, minus C option and the minus M option and a few more options for J48. To make sense of these options, uh, I've opened the Explorer here and I've uh, this is J48 in the default configuration. And you can see here the minus C option and the minus M option. These are things that we type into the command line, into the simple command line interface. So this is the default configuration, and these are parameters for J48. I can actually copy here. I'm going to copy the configuration. I did a right click, and I'm going to copy the configuration to the clipboard. And then I'm going to go back and find my simple command line interface. And I'm going to paste. It's Control V for paste. And uh, oh, I should have put Java at the beginning. So I'm going to run this Java program with these options copied and pasted from the Explorer. And then I need a training file, that's minus T, space. And now I need to put a file name for my training file. Well, here it is. Now, it's a fully qualified file name starting with a disk. Uh, unfortunately, in the uh, simple command line interface, you need to have fully qualified file names, and it's, this is where my data sets are, and it's the iris.r file, and I've surrounded it in quotes because there's actually spaces in this file name, and uh, Windows doesn't like file names with spaces in unless you put quotes around it. So now I'm just going to type enter again, and it should execute J48 on that data set. And, well, there we go. This is the result. We've seen that kind of thing many times before. So that's how you run classifiers in the simple command line interface. And uh, over here in the slide, this is what we did. We copied the command line, the classifier name of the options from the Explorer, and then we put the uh, training set afterwards manually. That's a good way of using the command line interface. Now I want to talk about this uh, complicated name, weka.classifiers.trees.j48. J48 is a class, which roughly means a program in Java. It's a collection of variables along with some methods, that is code, that operate on the variables. And uh, classes come in packages. A package is a directory containing related classes. So J48 is in the trees package, and the trees package is part of the classifiers package. We can see all this stuff in Java doc. It's useful to be able to look at the definitive documentation for Weka, and we can find that in our Weka installation. If I go to where I installed Weka, here's my computer. I'm going to go to C, and I installed it in the program files x86. I'm going to find Weka here. There's Weka, and I'm going to find documentation.html, and there, let's make this smaller, is the documentation. And I want to look at the package 
documentation. I can see the Weka manual here. I'm going to look at the package documentation. And this gives me documentation. This is called the Java doc, documentation generated from the Java program. This is the definitive source of documentation for Weka. So I'm going to find the uh, classifiers. These are the packages up here. It's a little bit complicated. I'm going to find the class classifiers.trees package. Click that. And down here I've got the contents of the classifiers.trees package. And I can click J48. And here I can see information about the J48 class. Actually, I could have got the same thing if I'd clicked all classes here and looked through this alphabetical list down here for J48, which is here. And I get the same information. So when I look at this Java doc, if I go down here, you can see some computery stuff here, and you can see the options. This is the definitive source of the options for J48. These are options that you can use in the Explorer or in the simple command line interface. And then there's a lot of other kind of information. Okay, so back to the slide here. We found J48 in the All Classes list and looked at its documentation. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's all this geeky stuff? Well, just don't worry. Just try to ignore things you don't understand and just power on through here to set your mind at rest. We're not going to be using the simple command line interface very much in this course. In fact, we'll use it in the next lesson, but after that we won't be using it at all. So just bear with us here while we look at it. So I want to find another thing in the Java doc. I mean, if you go back to the Explorer, perhaps you've never noticed this, but uh, you just find the Explorer again, which is here. You may never have noticed that here we've got, this is uh, open a database, open DB. And if I click this, this is on the pre-process panel, it says open a set of instances from a database, and I get a rather formidable looking form I've got to uh, fill in here without really any help. Now we can find the documentation on this in Javadoc. I happen to know this is actually a converter, a database converter, and it's in a package called weka.core.converter, the core of Weka. Weka. Uh, there's a bunch of packages in the central core of Weka, and converters is one of them. And if I look at the database converter, and look at the database loader, that gives us some documentation on this converter. It's a little bit complicated here because reading from a database is a little bit complicated. We've got to specify a number of things here, like the URL of the database and a username and a password and a query and so on. We can specify all those things. Well, I don't want to use this converter now. I just wanted to show you that the Java doc is a source of detailed documentation on different bits of Weka. So coming back to the slide, we can uh, the database loader will load from any JDBC database, and uh, it's in the Explorer preprocess panel. But the documentation is here in the Java doc. So it's useful to be able to find your way around the Java doc to see uh, more information about the, some of the facilities in Weka. So this is what we've talked about here, the command line interface. I showed you it quickly. It can do everything the Explorer does from the command line. We specify a command with minus followed by a letter, followed by a space, and then uh, an option like minus C space 0.25 or minus T space file name. You only get one line in the command line interface to type things, and uh, people often open a terminal window instead. Uh, which gives you some advantages. You can do scripting, so you can script a sequence of Weka commands. But in order to do that, you need to be able to set up your environment properly, and we're not going to cover that in this course. I showed you how you can copy and paste a configured classifier from the Explorer. Uh, and uh, in fact, in the activity that you're just about to do, you're going to look around the Java doc and find out some information, and uh, then you're going to uh, uh, configure something in the Explorer and copy that configured classifier into the command line interface and run it from there. 
The advantage of the command line interface is that it gives you more control over memory usage. It's a kind of a lower level way of accessing the facilities of Weka, and we'll be doing a little bit of that in the next lesson. And Javadoc, as I've said, is the definitive source of Weka documentation. Uh, so there's some stuff on the command line interface in the course text in chapter 14. Off you go and do the activity, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.